Hey guys, Azinium here, and today we are playing Bomb Bots Arena by Tiny Roar, and they've published the game themselves, it looks like. Uh, this is a free to play game on the Steam Store. Uh, it looks like they have positive reviews with only 33 actual reviews themselves, one being uh, negative. So let's go ahead and jump right in and see how it is. Alright, so here it is. I uh, went ahead and did a quick test round to uh, get through any tutorials just in case. I think I have a basic handle on the game. Um, let's go ahead and kind of experience it. The, uh, let's see, get my uh, first impressions of the game. Since I am. Um... Okay, so what you do, you press spacebar for dropping these bombs, and then these red blocks open up, and they have power ups that you can use. And then you basically just walk around and pick these power ups. Now, I want to say right off the bat, the controls are basic WASD. But they've somehow managed to make these controls feel, uh, clunky. I don't know how. Oh, cool. I guess easy win for me. Not bad. So basically, you're trying to blow up your opponents. So let's go ahead and do another round. Okay, so it looks like we got a box drop some sort. Okay, so um, it looks like I got some likes, uh, a core, and 10 coins. Cool. Alright, so there's no real in-depth tutorial telling you how to do things, so it's more of you have to figure it out yourself. So I, you have to click on your guy. Uh, this is also early access, so maybe they'll actually have a uh, tutorial mode. For some reason, I'm not able to select these legs. Where? While I, oh, okay. There we go. So it just wasn't showing up as a check mark for whatever reason. Um, I did go ahead and uh, customize my legs and arms uh, with this paint tool, which you can do if you want. I don't know what this is at all. I'm guessing it's uh, the glowing spots on the armor itself um, to change your controls. You go into the gear icon, obviously. I went ahead and set my abilities to Q and E. Uh, before, it was something along the lines of U and I, which I found kind of difficult trying to reach all the way over uh, for your abilities. And I haven't used them yet. I'm From what I was reading, the abilities are... As, like I said, the, the issue with this game is they don't really give you a lot to work with. So it's something like a punch ability. Okay, here you go. So that's how you get into your ability menu. And then this is my one ability. So to punch people, I have to either hit Q or E. But I'm guessing it's Q because it's my first ability. Okay, let's go ahead and jump back in. And see what happens. Now, I don't know if these matches are live or not, uh, or if they're just an estimated of how someone else would do, and then they're turned into a bot sort of thing. But it does seem it's either they have a really good matching system, or it's bots plus um, other people themselves. And it appears that that guy blew himself up. So what we're going to try and go ahead and do, we're going to attempt to see about trying to use an ability. Wow, that was close. I went ahead and blew myself up there. Oh wow, I almost blew myself up again. Oh wow. Okay. Oh shoot, I'm dead. Well, I got myself blocked in. I came in third, I'll take it. Now, 
this is one of those games that once you play uh, more than a couple match matches, I could see it actually getting uh, pretty stale, to be honest. Um, once again, I want to say this is early, early access. So maybe they'll uh, add different modes, or maybe there are different modes. We'll take a look at that in a second. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and try and get that. This guy looks like he's trying to uh, steal some of these power-ups. Oh man. So you gotta be careful doing that too because people will come along and block you in. Oh wow, I got bombed. I don't even know how that happened. I guess that's fourth place. Okay. We'll go ahead and spectate and see how this round goes. Um, I kind of want to get it to a point where uh, I can show you what happens when these red crates are all gone. Oh, I guess it doesn't happen when all the red crates are gone. It's after the uh, time goes to zero. So these blocks start becoming red. And if you step on them... Uh, or are in these path, uh, it basically will disintegrate you. So the more time that you have that's going on, the less likely you are to survive. Technically, uh, if everyone worked together, which wouldn't make any sense, but you know what? We were going to see if there was a different mode. Oh, here we go. Brawl, Rumble, Chaos, or Royale. Interesting. Oh, okay, coming soon. So, 8 player battle. Let's play a rumble and see if that's uh, any better. Because like I said, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of this game. Uh, it feels a lot like a game on the PlayStation 2 uh, called Bombastic. But that game was actually quite a bit better. Uh, and I only say that because... You know, it was executed very well. Oh wow, so these bombs actually go along the conveyor belt and can potentially kill you. Very, very interesting. I'm not getting really any power-ups right now, but it's because there's uh, quite a bit of chaos going on with everything. And then you have these people coming by to... Uh... Oh wow, okay. So that was pretty quick. We'll do one more round of this. Um, I'm still getting the same feeling I did with the regular mode, though. I'm just not having a lot of fun. I mean, this may not just, you know, this may be a game for someone else. You may enjoy it. Uh, I just feel like there are other games that already feel fill this sort of niche, the niche area. I've blown myself up again. Let's do one more round. And it's not like, you know, it's not because I'm uh, constantly dying. It's just, you know, I don't know. I feel like there's not enough reward for what I'm doing, I guess. And there's, uh, it doesn't seem like there's any teamwork whatsoever, and I, I guess I like uh, more teamwork games as well. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wow. So we have to be careful to uh, maybe start breaking down this wall, because it seems like... Okay, so what does this do then? Oh, okay, it doesn't... Oh, okay. Wow, I don't even know what happened there. Alright. I think that's about it for this one. Um, yeah, I think I'm done with this one. If you guys have any recommendations, uh, you know, just feel free to leave me keys or recommend uh, games. Once again, this is a free-to-play game. Uh, I don't think there's any real 
pay to win features in this. It looks like you can buy these coins or boxes. Um, I'm guessing it's really just uh, cosmetic though. From what I can tell, Founders Pack for $10. Different um, hats and accessories. But I can't really, let's click on one. Yeah, so it, it looks like it's all just cosmetic stuff, which is cool. So I'll give them that. Um, what else? Okay, it looks like they have finish quest in order to get season items. So it looks like they have some sort of uh, quest thing. This mode here, this royale mode, might actually be enjoyable. I'm not sure how they're going to do that. Okay, so we can't we can't enter the chaos room mode. But anyways, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Dumpster fire. <sighs> I'm not sure if I would actually play this game in my free time. I do believe the game needs some work. Well, that was Azinium and Bella's here again. Uh, donate for improved and continue content. Don't forget to hit that bell icon as hard as possible. Feel free to kick it if you'd like. Subscribe and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. I'll see you guys next time. Alright, I, I should stop.